All right, let's continue looking at Composer and particularly how to insert an image. Um, you'll notice here that I now have two tabs open. One, I've named the page Sailing. Notice I've given a heading here. But also, if I choose Format, Page, Title, and Properties, you'll note that the title of the page is Sailing. By title, we mean what appears uh, as the window title in the browser. That's important. I have a second tab open. Um, on this second page of my site, I'm just going to list uh, links to various sailing sites. Again, notice over on the right, I've set up my links here uh, within my uh, website about sailing, one to take you home, one to go to the links page, which is what we're on now. Okay, I could call it sites or something else. I've inserted an image here, but let me uh, take that out and show you how to do that. Um, first of all, I've put the images in a folder. Remember my folder, Smythe WA1. I created a folder named images. Okay. And in that, I've put a couple of images. Now, one of them, let's look at these for a moment. That is 1.6 meg in size. That's way too big. This one is 20K. Hmm, I like that. This one I took, okay, with my digital camera. And what happens is you, re you end up with a high-quality image, but it also is quite large in size. So I could go into um, Photoshop Elements or Web Resizer on the of the web, whatever, as we've looked at, for reducing the size of that image. But note now, in my folder, Smythe WA1, I have the CSS file that I downloaded with the index file. I have a folder called Images. I've created a new page called Smythe Page 2. That's what it looks like, by the way, in a browser. So, let's go back to Composer, and I want to en enter my image here. Now, you may notice I if I click other locations, nothing happens. That's part of the CSS. Um, sometimes it can get a little bit awkward to work with. But for now, I'm going to insert an image, click the image, locate the image. I'm going to use that one because I know it's smaller and fi a smaller file size. Notice here, however, I want to set up the dimensions. If it's too big, such as those you get off your digital camera, click custom size change the width, be sure you have constraint checked, and it will adjust the size. This one's actually okay, so I'm going to use the uh, actual size, and you can also drag it to adjust it. Now, notice something else we must do is include an alternative text for that, alternate text for that image, okay? Um, fortunately, Composer reminds you of that. So click OK, there it is. It's a little big. I'm going to draw, adjust it a bit to fit into that column. And there we go. Okay. And we have it on the second. No, we don't have it on the second page either. So I'll do that one more time. Click Image. Locate the image. It's in my Images folder. Click OK. Uh, alternate text. Now if I've done this all on my initial page and then just save that as several times. This would save some time, wouldn't it? But for our purposes, there we go. And notice you can always browse through your browser, see what the page looks like after you save it. Okay. And there we go. Okay, we might have a little problem there. We probably need to delete some of these items over on the right. Uh, but you get the idea. Okay. Links page, home page got that backwards, but that'll work out. So, uh, try that out.